inspire, connect, resource, growing healthy churches, is in relationship for God's mission. So Alex, it'd be, it'd be really good just to get to know you a little bit. So let me ask you a question about yourself. If, uh, if someone asked you for three words to describe you, what three words would you use? What people probably would say about me would be energetic, uh, focused, and I hope they might say fun, perhaps. Oh, well, we don't mind fun. Fun would be good. That would be great. If you bring a bit of fun to our Leaders' Day, we'd look forward to that. I'll do my best. <laughs> Being called to Jesus, for me, being called to Jesus and being called to or compelled to proclaim Jesus, they were, they were wrapped up hand in hand as well, Joff, together, I have to say. So I actually preached my first sermon before being saved. Again, I didn't, I didn't know the rules. So you're going to join us on the 9th of November, which we're looking forward to, and you're going to bring some of your energy and some of your fun to that day, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to be uh, virtual, but uh, it's going to be great to see you regardless. Um, but can you, are you able to give us a bit of a taster of what you think you might be sharing with us? You don't have to say too much at this point, but just enough to wet, wet our appetites. I want to get us in the Bible, Joff. So number one, I'll definitely get us in the Bible. God's work, word does God's work through God's spirit. So I'm praying hard in terms of that particular word that he might want to bring. Um, you know, so there's definitely that. The second thing, though, Joff, is I, w- I do want to bring those principles. There's seven recurring themes from these fast growing churches that they all have and yet are a little bit unique to growing churches they're not found in others but they are consistently found in these seven so there's some collective wisdom that i'll, I'll be sharing um, from these faster growing churches there's seven principles that i think are well worth reflecting on and pondering for every church just to seek what god might be saying through them so I'll, secondly i'll bring those seven principles And thirdly, at your request, but I think this is important, I I will just share much more personally some of my own journey through COVID, um, how I've experienced that as a leader, and I found it incredibly difficult. You know, I'll be open enough to say I've never been someone who's who's found my mental or emotional well-being challenged. I have over this last six months. Um, I found that quite difficult, the realisation of that. So there are some of my own journeys over COVID I'd like to just share and reflect on. But also within that, to look beyond COVID and say, actually, you know, what, you know, we need to start just talking about what church looks like post COVID, you know, and, and have we learned the things that God would want us to learn through this about how we can be more effective for his kingdom? Again, I'm not going to say I have any answers at all, but I, I would I would hope I could start to provoke some more conversations. There'll be one voice in the conversation of what are the lessons we need to learn through COVID. So three things. A word from the Bible, essential. We're not Christians if we don't gather around his word and under his word. Um, Secondly, those seven principles collectively learned through the fast-growing churches of Firestarter. And thirdly, some reflections off the COVID um, experience. Alex, that sounds really great. Uh, I'm sure many, many will be looking forward to hearing more about that and finding out what those seven principles are. So we won't tell them yet. They're after turn up to find out. Inspire, connect, resource, growing healthy churches is in relationship for God's mission.